Well, son, since your ma and pa were killed by those bandits, and we assume your brother, too, I took it upon me to raise you and, and teach you how to survive in the West. I'm about ready to hang up my guns and, and maybe settle for a quieter life over in Bray Pass. It's time you head out on your own, Rogan, my boy. Before you go, though, let's go over a few of the things I've learnt you. On the box over yonder, you'll see your gun belt, boy. Buckle up. Your belt also carries a bowie knife. A young feller named Jim Gage in San Francisco. A friend of Major Tums. Hmm. Not bad for a youngin', Rogan, although bottles don't do back. <laughs> Break open that little packing box in the corner there from Magnus Hill. There's a tank here inside. These will always pep you up a mite, son. Let's outside a while, Rogan, and find some fresh air. I'm hankering to see the daylight. You can leave your gun belt and knife here, boy. You got other things to do now. Now, Rogan, go get that old miner's pick with the pusher cart over there. And try out those crates that just come out. It's a lot heavier and slower than the Bowie. That's a mere punch. You won't break through steel band boxes though, Rogan, so don't waste your swing. They're a mite stronger. Oh, and mine out for barrels, boy. You can't tell what's in them. You can split them, but if they hold the powder, you might set it off. When you're through busting up the place, join me in the street. I'll go lay you out. Phew, am I dusty in that barn of old man Daniels? <laughs> Here's a buffalo gun, son. Try this beauty out. See if you can pick those three chickens off the roof, Rogan. You can use the sight on the barrel to get a closer look at what you're seeing, Rogan, if you wants to. Mine, though, she'll bring down a buffalo in full flight, and she kicks like a mule. <laughs> Good and Rogan, and varmints. <laughs> Let's take a stroll over to Maggie's place. You'll find a leather waistcoat on her counter. These will offer you a bit of protection should you take a bullet. Ah, I see that present arrived for me from old Shaquani. Break open the box, and let's see what he sent over. Now let's see how you are with the skills of the other people in the room. Bring her outside. Now let's see. Hey, Zeke! How about sticking a target up for Rogan here? Try his Indian skills on. Throw a few arrows into the target, Rogan. Gotta allow for a string pull, wind, and the fall of the arrow. I think I'll get me a drink with Zeke over in the saloon, Rogan. You keep practicing for a while and join me for a shot of red eye when you're done, boy. <coughs> or you leave for that new sheriff's job over at Red Rock. Hmm. Pretty quiet place, old Red Rock Creek. Say hello to Crispin in the telegraph office for me when you get there. He's got some lovely butterflies. Damn it. Have you seen where I left my horse? Why don't you just shut up?
Of course it ain't. Howdy. Sure is a mighty fine day. I'm kinda busy now, Sheriff. Sorry. Sorry, I'm a little busy just now. Stop. I, I got a funny undertaker. Mom's not feeling too good. Sorry, Sheriff, I gotta get back and feed the chicken. I can't talk right now. I, I gotta get some supplies to the store. I'm kinda busy now, Sheriff. Sorry. Sheriff, it, it's old Zeke. I just can't sober him up. By the smell of him, he's had enough red eye to pickle a mule. I'll go can't get stop right now, but to help I'll me drag the him over the yard sleep it off. Good morning, oh, Mr. Black. I was just about to come and get you. A telegram has just arrived. Hmm, I must remember to polish the stove tomorrow. Have you ever noticed? Yeah! A posse. I'll go round up some of the boys, Sheriff, and we'll meet you on the trail. You think we might get some rain this year? I'm sorry, but Rule 27B clause 13 hey, prohibits me. Sheriff, uh, Sheriff needs a posse. There's trouble over at Bray Pass. Rogan, you go on ahead through the side door near the bank. I'll brief the boys. Looks like the stage is running late again. You ain't seen my harmonica, have you? I can't talk right can't now. Stop. I, I gotta get some stuff. Sorry, Sheriff. I gotta get back and feed the chickens. Too good. Oh, come, come now. You should know better than to ask me to abandon my station. I think I'll make a pie for supper. 
Sorry, Sheriff. I kind of busy now, Sheriff. Chickens. Sorry. Howdy, Sheriff. What time's the saloon open? I can't talk right now. I, I gotta get some supplies to the store. Can't stop. I, I gotta find the Undertaker. Ma's not feeling too good. You think they'd let us go if we gave him the keys to the bank? To know about you, but I could surely use a drink. Can't stop right now, but I'll see you at the poker game tonight, Sheriff. I heard the preacher. Looks like the stage is running late again. Howdy, Sheriff. Caught the stage in a narrow gap. Took the wheel clean off. Managed to unshackle the horses and get them in a couple boxes up to town. I'm done in now. Sent for the blacksmith. What do you think was keeping him? Got so damn thirsty I broke open one of Dawson's water boxes with my knife. Hope old man Dawson don't mind. I guess you'll have to wait a while, Sheriff, if you want to get through the pass. Can't think what's keeping that blacksmith. He's over here! Try and pin him down! Whoa! Run for it!
to eat. Shit, it's a low man. Move! Hey, Sheriff. The others went on ahead. I was just resting up a little. One of them big cats got the jump on me. Damn near bit my arm off. Anyway, you take care. I'm gonna rest a spell, then head back to town and get the doc to stitch me up. Can't stop right now, but I'll see you at the poker game tonight, Sheriff. <gasps> Dang! <laughs> Sorry, Sheriff, I gotta get back and feed the chickens.